this is quite honestly probably the most satisfying thing we could do at the moment Repair. and then just do this like that is freaking dope that's what i've been doing for like the past three minutes oh i didn't even know the professors could just walk around work, okay I would suggest that's pretty cool so i guess we could interact from your professor professor do you have time to chat i always have time for my students how may i help you I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> Try to have a bit of fun today. <laughs> it's pretty funny that... Uh... <laughs> We went to chat with the professor and we ended up leaving with like a heartfelt message. And uh, I mean, he wasn't Ron when he was talking about, so uh, that's pretty Repair. cool. I feel like uh, a lot of people can relate to that, especially like new age teachers. Here? Oh, let's go to the map. Yeah, so it was this mission that opened up right after our last episode. It's called Gobs of Gobstone. Zenobia Noka is fretting over her, or fretting over him looking gobs. I honestly don't know what gobstones are. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noka, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Well, that doesn't sound too fun. Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds awful. Uh, but honestly, if we get to play the mini game, if there's a mini game like that, then uh, shit, let's go with that. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Uh, any ideas on how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. 
All right, so um, wait, are we gonna get the location for the gobstones, or is that just leading me to the main story? Uh, okay, yeah, that should lead me to the uh, to the gobstones. All right, oh, we gotta find six of them. Okay, that should be interesting. As I'd long as keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, I was gonna say as long as they're not like in places where I can't reach, like behind locked doors, I should be fine. Um. Rebellion. Oh, right there. Okay. Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Right, one. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Whoa. Okay. Is that a new spell? Jesus. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's see. You know, this would be much easier if I Handy learned how to indeed, use these again. Field guide. Those, um, like fast travel. Be. I totally forgot how, like, to activate them. Accio. Like, now that we're here, might as well get that one, right? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, okay, we can keep going up there. Okay. What is this place? Revelio. Oh shit. Oh wait, the gobstone's right there. I didn't even notice it. Hold on. I think, I, yeah, it's right there. I, yeah, I was like, I thought I saw something glowing. Accio. What are you up to one. now? I was like, who the hell said that? <laughs> Honestly, does that does become helpful if you just don't want to look at the mini map? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. As I walk around more doing these like mini side quests, I realize that there's a lot of locations I still haven't uncovered in Hogwarts that are available to me. You know, I've been walking around the school for, for a good minute now, and honestly, I didn't even know this place existed. Or available, I should say. It's honestly amazing how this game almost replicated the entire school to a T from the movie. Probably keep going up there. All right, I gotta memorize this uh, this location so I can come back through here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I gotta say this looks pretty cool. I didn't know trolls in this uh, in the Harry Potter war or world um, wore um, pieces of armor. Nice to see you, my 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So that means that at a point in time, uh, they used to wear armor of sorts. Akio. Revelio. Alright, so this looks like a uh, a trophy room in a sense. Akio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so that's actually gonna take a while since uh, she's all the way back there. Alright, there we go. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wait, so it is a... It could be a mini game. Uh, let's go with that. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Well, I guess it's not a mini game. Okay, I was kind of wishing it was like a mini game. Would have been pretty cool. All right then. So um, yeah, I don't think there's any more like side quests, and uh, yeah, there isn't any more side quests in Hogwarts at the moment. So uh, yeah, next episode we're going to Honks. I'm actually pretty excited. Hopefully we also get our broom. We could like fly around. So that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be ending the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.